guys i'm super excited to be here today because this is my first official video for the year 2024 yes i know you have seen some videos this year but all of them were filmed last year so this is my first official video for the year 2024 and i want to say happy new year to all of you guys happy happy new year so today i come bearing good news okay yes the good news is that there is going to be a massive delay in the increment of the immigration health surcharge okay so sometime in october the government said they were going to increase the immigration health surcharge it was going to be increased from 624 per year to over 1035 pounds per year that's a massive whole pay 400 pound increment per year and for people below the ages of 18 years and those under the youth mobility visa it was going to be increased from 470 per year to 776 pound per person per year so and um, we were all expecting this to become effective from the 16th of january 2024 however there's going to be a delay okay and that is the good news let me give you the details <laughs> So hi guys, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Anel Rizoda. On this channel, I talk about nesting, I talk about migration to the UK, I talk about opportunities for people to relocate abroad and life in the UK as an immigrant in general. So if these are topics that interest you, please do consider subscribing. So usually, um, whenever a decision is debated on in parliament, it has to take about 21 days before it becomes effective, okay? It has to take 21 solid days before the whole, the new decision comes into like full force or comes into full effect. And the House of Commons was set to debate on this increment in the immigration health charge on the 10th of January. That's just about yesterday. Okay, so that means the earliest time that this, this effect will come into full force is 31st of January. That is, even if they should all vote for it and say yes, the earliest it can come into effect is 31st of January 2024. So there's still a massive time. Guys, see... If you are an individual coming to the UK on a skilled worker visa, which is not under the health sector, let's say you're coming to work as a teacher or you're coming to work as a computer data analyst or whatever, you've got since the kids or sponsorship to come and work, you are required to pay this immigration health charge. This allows you to use the National Health Service of the UK or to use the government hospitals in the UK without necessarily having to pay any time you are served. Okay, you pay this for every year that you are in the UK. And if you're coming and you have a three-year visa, okay, as of now, you're required to pay about 724, okay? So if um, the increment comes into effect, okay, you're paying 1,035 per year. So, a case study. So instead of the 16th of January, now the earliest this can come into effect, as I said, is 31st of January. Okay, so you still have a little over two weeks, okay, to put in your applications, guys. So check the kind of visa that you'll be applying for to see if you are required to pay the immigration health charge and check the earliest date you can apply. For instance, if you're coming from outside the UK on a skilled worker visa, the earliest you can apply is three months before the start date on your certificate of sponsorship. But remember that if you're coming to work in the health sector, you're exempted from paying this immigration health charge however if you're coming to work as let's say a teacher or a data scientist data analyst it personnel blah 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 accountant you are required to pay this immigration health charge along with your dependents that's your spouse and your children okay and so um if you are coming for let's say three years if you're lucky and then you check the earliest you can apply based on the visa that you're applying for okay if it falls within please do submit your application immediately because imagine if you're coming to work for three years okay if you pay the old bill, okay, you're paying 624 times three years, okay? However, if you're paying the new one, you're paying 1,035 times three, and you are saving yourself about 1,200 pounds if you're able to submit your application earlier before 31st of January, before this new thing comes into full force or comes into effect, okay? So please check the kind of visa that you're on. And if you are currently in the UK as well, or let's say you're on a family visa or you're on a skilled worker visa in the UK and you're required to extend your visa, your visa is about to expire, go on the gov.gk website immediately and check the earliest you can apply to extend your the current visa that you're on. Let's say if they say you can apply three months or six months in advance and your visa is expiring somewhere in March, that means you qualify to submit the application now. You're saving yourself over £1,200 if you're extending for like three years, okay? And if it's just one year, you're saving yourself almost £400. That's a lot of money that can do a lot of things, can buy you groceries for so long, okay? So please check the kind of visa that you are on and check the earliest you can apply to extend or check the kind of visa that you need and check the earliest you can apply, okay? 
for those that are required to pay the immigration health surcharge and make your applications now okay because like i said it was debated in the house of commons on the 10th of january and the earliest this can come into effect the earliest this can come into full force is 21 days from the day of the debate and that will be 31st of january okay so you still have enough time to put in your application or to apply for your, your visa extension or apply for whatever the only people who are exempt is those are on the health and care worker visa that's nurses doctors everybody in the care sector they're exempted from paying immigration health social along with their dependents but any other person else unless you're coming on a visit visa you are exempt but if you're coming as a student you have to pay if you're coming as a skilled worker you, you have to pay if you're in the uk already as a student or as a skilled worker you're planning to extend your visa you have to pay the only people who are already in the uk and are exempt are people under the health and care worker visa or people who are applying for settlement those are the ones who are exempt other than that you would have to pay guys this is a lot of money that you can save okay and i thought i could share this good news with you okay so hurry up check the earliest you can extend your visa or check the earliest you can apply for your visa and put in your application now and save yourself that 400 pounds or save yourself that 500 pounds okay so thank you so much i hope this was of benefit to you share this video to anybody you think this might be helpful to okay so by the way this video was proudly brought to you by transfer girl if you're looking to send money from the uk or other eu countries to ghana nigeria or other african countries i recommend transfer girl so transfer girl if you're wondering what they are if you're a stranger on this channel it's an international money transfer app that allows you to send money from the uk and other eu countries to over 34 different african countries did you hear me to over 34 different african countries not loads of apps beat this you can send money to ghana nigeria and many 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 other african countries if you haven't tried it i don't know what you're waiting for with transfer girl in at most 30 minutes a person is going to get the money and your person gets the exact amounts that you're sending and as you send the money you can actually track the transfer to see whether the person has gotten it where it is in the you know the whole transfer process it's very very easy hassle free very very convenient and what i love about them is their customer support if you should have a problem and then you contact them they are very prompt they are very quick to respond to your query and attend to you and sort everything out for you they are authorized by the uk financial conduct authority transfer girl is currently being used by over 5 million users worldwide and when you check trustpilot.com they are rated the best money transfer app yes the best one transfer app on trustpilot.com you can download transfer go for free whether you use an android or you use an ios and i'll leave the link in the description okay the amazing amazing thing is that transfer go is giving unlimited 20 pound reward if you transfer or refer a friend so when you use the app you can actually generate your own referral code from the app or generate a referral link and then share it to your friends and if these friends that you refer are able to send about 100 pound you know in the first six months between two countries you are gifted unlimited 20 pound reward so you can imagine the more friends you invite the more money you get you don't have to be registered as an influencer for them or blah 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 you get the money okay i love transfer go and i recommend transfer go to you if you're in the uk or any eu country and you're willing to transfer money to friends and family in ghana nigeria or other african countries okay they are rated the best transfer company on trustpilot.com and i'm privileged to be associated with this brand so thank you so much transfer go for sponsoring today's video yes